And welcome back to another session of Gaming with God. I'm your host, Grumpy Old Dude. On the screen, you can see loading up what looks like something old and ancient. And this that's what this is. This is Pool of Radiance. This game comes from 1988. And you can see from the text graphics that it is old style and it's going at the time it was current it was state of the art now i have already created my party however i want to go through the character creation process with you here real quickly there are some cheats i did and i'll explain those and i'll explain why we're going to start by creating a new character now understand that in this, this game set uses the old AD&D rules, not even 2E. This would be pre-2E in its rule set. You have a few races, six of them, dwarf, elf, gnome, half-elf, halfling, and human. Now only the human has unlimited levels in every class. And only the human can be any class. Only non-humans can be multi-class. And multi-class then works differently than it does now. An elven fighter magic user, for example, what would now be called a fighter wizard. You progress in both classes simultaneously. If your elven fighter magic user is awarded 500 experience points, he gets 250 as a fighter, he gets 250 as a magic user. So you level up more slowly, but then you have more diverse skills as well. Depending on the race, on what your class eligibilities are, and how far they can go in level. Now just for, for the sake of illustration here, I'm going to just create a dwarf. I'm going to make him a male, and we're going to make him be a fighter. Lawful good. Now, the only thing you need to be concerned with at this stage of character creation is how much gold do they have. A fighter can have up to 200 gold to start with. Don't worry about the stats. We're going to cheat those anyway. There's 180. That's almost max, so we'll keep that. Character name. Bash him. Good name for a dwarf. He's just going to bash shit. Okay, now. Head, H. You see the various head choices you have. You really don't have a good dwarf in the head here. They didn't give us one in the game. <laughs> There's that. That's what we get. That, that's what we have. Here's our dwarf. And body. Yep, you can give him boobs. He's going to be a dwarven fighter. We'll keep that. Now, we have the icons on the bottom. P for parts. Head. Next. There's where there's the, that goes with the profile head that we get to. So now we say keep weapon. He's going to wield big old something or other here. Let's find it. that. Could be an axe, that could be a mace. That'll work. We'll keep that. Exit E. Now you can change colors on stuff. Hair. You want white hair. He's an old dwarf. There. Keep. Okay. Then you can go through and change colors on the armor, the weapon, so on and so forth. We're just going to leave things where they are. Okay. Keep that icon. Yes. Now, how do you cheat? the gold and then the and the character okay let's add to the party let's take basham here we'll add him to the party and we'll exit and there's basham all by himself all right first thing we're gonna do is modify the character the dwarf was maxed had a max strength of 1899 now the max strength for any class is 18 unless it's a fighter if it's a human fighter, you can go to 18100. Dwarf, 1899. Elf, 1875. Half-elf, I think, was 1850. I don't recall. 
Okay, intelligence, that's fine. We'll give him a 16 wisdom. We'll give him a 16 dex. 19 constitution. That looks good. Hit points, we're going to maximize those. Okay, give him the maximum for first level, which is die 10 plus his constitution bonus. So there's our character. Now, how do we cheat his goal? Well, we're going to create a dummy character. Dwarf, male, fighter, lawful good. The only thing we're trying to... Oh, there we are, 200 gold. That's the absolute maximum possible. Yes. A, because we're not keeping him. Okay. Keep that. Exit. Yes. Now we're going to A, add character to the party. We're going to come down here and say A. And we would do this six times. Uh, well, until we have six people in the party, so we do it four more times. Then what we would do is view A, trade, to bash them, gold coins, 200, exit, and then we drop A. We delete him. He's gone. Okay. Now let's view Basham. Now Basham is 380 gold. Okay. And you would go through and do that over and over and over again until you decided that you were bored and done enough of it. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to drop Basham and destroy him. I'm just going to remove him from the party. Okay. Now I'm going to add characters to the party. Now I've already gone through this whole process. <coughs> Shandar is a human fighter. Rick is a human fighter. Gerald is an elven fighter, a magic user, a thief. Bonnie is a human cleric. Banner is a human cleric. Marlin is a elven fighter, magic user. Okay. And that's what we have. That's the party with which we are going to begin our adventure. Everybody's got an armor class of six, except for Bonnie. She's got an eight. Then everybody's got maximum hit points for their class slash classes. Okay. Now, why does Bonnie only have an eight armor class and everybody else has a six? Well, I think everybody else has an 18 dex and Bonnie has a 16. Okay. Can I change that? Yes. Because I haven't started the adventure yet. Oh, no, I can't change it. Because I've already... Him. Yeah, I've already done that and said keep it. So that it's not going to... Oh, wait, yeah, I can too. There we go. I was on the wrong key. There we are. Now she's got a six armor class. Keep, exit. Quit the DOS, no. So now everybody's got an 18 dex, except for, I think, the two L's both have 19 dexes. Yep. Yep. Okay. So now we are going to begin our adventure. Greetings, courageous ones. I am Rolf, appointed by the council to introduce newcomers to the fair city of Flan. If you will accompany me, I will start the tour. Now, there is sound of this, sort of. <laughs> Here we go. You're going to hear them walking through the town. <laughs> you now face an entrance to the Temple of Tyr. There are three temples in Flan, Tyr's, Soons, and Tempest. Tyr's is the largest and houses Bishop Brachio. If you will turn around now. You will see the entrance to the passenger dock area we just departed. Few ships dare the perilous passage here, but the council is developing a plan to open up the sea lanes. Please follow me. Behind these doors are the special training schools where adventurers increase their skills. Let us now go to the city's most important building. We are just outside City Hall. Proclamations are posted on these walls inside. The city clerk awards the council's commissions. Commissions are the quickest way to fame and fortune. On your right is one of the entrances to Soon's Temple. As with all Flans temples, various clerical services are offered inside. On your left is an entrance to the city park. 
Beyond the gate are the monster-ridden areas of the old city. We are slowly preparing for settlement. The council offers a generous reward to those who clear areas of monsters. Our tour is ended. Again, let me urge you to apply to the city clerk for a commission. Goodbye and good fortune. You are on your own now. Now, I want to explain a few things here about the party makeup. There are a number of games in the old Gold Box series from TSI, Tactical Simulations, Inc. That's who did these old Dungeons & Dragons games back in the 80s and early 90s. Pool of Radiance is the first one. You can transfer at the end of Pool of Radiance, the next game, I believe, the second game in the series is Curse of the Azure Bonds. You can transfer your characters from uh, Pool of Radiance into Curse of the Azure Bonds and start with your fully developed characters, okay? Uh, and and then, again, at the end of Curse of the Azure Bonds, the next one on the Secret of Silver Blades, maybe, you can transfer into that one. Uh, or you can start over with new characters, and, and it'll give them some XP, but you'll have much higher level characters if you transfer them from game to game. So, what I've got is two fighters. I've got a half a magic user here, a fighter, magic user, thief, and a half magic user here, and a fighter magic user. Both are elves, both are fighters, so they can also use bows. Uh, you don't really need a thief in Pool of Radiance, but I just can't have uh, a Dungeons & Dragons adventuring party and not have a thief. Two clerics. Why two clerics? You'll see once we get into combat, one cleric at first level does not have the healing capacity needed to keep you alive. You will die a lot. <laughs> and that's expensive. It also leads to game over. Okay, let's see. First thing we do is turn around. We use the arrow keys to move. You're outside City Hall. The city clerk awaits inside to award commissions. We hit enter. Proclamations are posted on the walls in your journal. You know proclamations 64, 78, CIX 109 and 59. Uh, journal. Search means we look around here and nothing happens. Journal. Party makes camp. You, your journal? No. I don't know what it. I, I'm at a loss for the journal. Here we go. We go into City Hall. You enter City Hall. As you face down the hallway, you see a guarded door. You are outside the clerk's office. Guards posted around a door in the south wall watch you closely. Here's the clerk's office. As you enter, the council clerk begins looking through a stack of papers. Before I can offer any commissions, I must see if you are due a current reward. Clerk shuffles through her papers. On the matter of commission, I can offer the following. The slums immediately to our west need to be cleared of monsters. So-called keep on Thorn Island must be cleared. The council is offering a reward for books, maps, tomes, etc., which provide useful information about Flan before the fall. The reward is tied to the value of the information. These are all the commissions currently available. Okay. So now we're back out in the hallway. And now we go outside. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Shandar here. View. And he doesn't have any items, does he? He has no equipment. He does have almost 2,000 gold. Like I said, I cheated gold. Whoops. Here we go. I think this was the weapons shop. Yep. Arms and armor. Can I show you our wares? If you say no, he leaves and you're just stuck in the box. So we say yes. Okay. You. No, that views him. All right. Um, bye. It's the one key to move 
There is no moving up. Okay, I want him with a great sword. I really do. Next. There's a bastard. There we are. Two handed sword. Buy that. Next. Deposit longbow. Buy that. And 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 arrows. Plate mail. Buy that. Exit. Now we view. Now see he's got items. So I for items. And R to ready. So we're going to ready the composite longbow. Uh, we want to join the arrows. We did that. We're going to ready those. Ready to plate mail. So he's ready to go now. How much well, we spent a whole bunch. Okay, they, now it converted the coin. We got 278 platinum, four gold. Okay. So now we're going to go to Rick. And we're going to buy. And we're going to go next. And Rick is going to have a long sword. The composite longbow. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 arrows. Plate mail. And a shield. Now, Rick, we view items. Ready. Join. Ready. 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 Oh, he's got the longbow, so he can't ready the shield. When he's in melee combat, he'll use a longsword and shield. Okay, here we go. Now we exit him. Now we got to get Gerald ready. Gerald is a fighter of magic. He's a thief. As a thief, he, he doesn't have the same weapons uh, or armor. Okay, we're going to buy a dagger for him. Next. Next again. He's an elf, so he should be able to use the longbow. Buy that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Studded leather. And a shield. Join ready. Ready. Yeah, the same shield up. Okay. Exit that. Now Bonnie, our cleric. Uh, let's go with a mace. Buy that. And she can't use a bow. Just to show you that. And we'll give that to the Elven Fighter and the Educator that's coming up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Banded. And a shield. She can use a sling. And you don't have to buy. Um, sling stones or sling bullets. Items. Oh, view items. There we go. Wrong class. See, she can't use the longbow. Oh, it won't let her use the sling either. My bad. I thought they could use slings. Apparently it doesn't let a cleric use uh, missile weapons at all. 
As I recalled, they could use blunt weapons, which would include a sling. I'm not sure why it won't let them use a sling. AD&D did allow clerics to use slings. But Pool of Radiance doesn't, so. Now we're going to trade to Marlin. Composite Longbow. And the 60 arrows. And we go to Banner. Bye. Base. I don't know if it bought it or not. Yes, it did. Okay. Banded. Shield. Exit. View items. Ready, ready, ready. Let's make sure we have Bonnie set up correctly here. View items. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ready? Ready. Here we go. Now we go to Marlin, who is a fighter magic user. He can wear armor because he's a, an elf. Magic users normally can't wear armor, but elven magic users can. So we go into buy. Next. A long sword. I've already got the longbow and arrows. Chain. Items. Why does he have the sling? Items. There we go. Ready, ready, ready. There we go. So we're all ready to go now. We're all equipped and ready to get started. Now we exit. You see over here on the right side of the screen, your coordinates, 311, 211. We're headed, we're pointed north now, east, north again. Aren't those footsteps neat? <laughs> you are by the gateway to the unsettled areas. The city watch eyes you suspiciously. You have entered the monster-curling slums of Flan. Small, ugly things scurry from beneath your feet. <clears throat> In the distance, an alarm sounds. You are surprised by orcs. And there's a whole boatload of these guys. All right. View. Items. We need to change weapons because he's engaged in close combat. So we're going to say aim. Right there, N for next. Okay, sleep. And that's what I screwed up. I didn't have, I didn't have these guys um, prep their spells and shit. I didn't go, go camp first. Okay, uh, let's see. View. It's been a long time since I played this game. <laughs> All right. We have an orc that's on us, so he's going to go to the longsword. Exit. 
Uh, let's aim. Manually target this guy. Killed him, but another one came charging through. View items. Here we go. This is my fighter magic user thief. Aim A M manual arrow key target this guy. Stabbed him with the dagger. Aim manual target this guy. All right, this fella has a or bought Bonnie. She got the mace. She is going to move to there. Oh, view item. Oh, hell. I said move. There we go. Aim. No, no. View item. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is my fighter that I'd want to make into a paladin when I can do that. Aim manual. Target. <coughs> Move. To there. Aim manual. Right there. Oh! Not good. Uh, yeah, see my I didn't I didn't do my spells. We just keep going until we kill enough of them that the rest of them run away. Here we go, done. Exit. Done. Done. Quit. See the panel now. Zero is at zero. He's not below zero, so we're good on that regard. Uh, let's see. Let's view takes me to him, right? Yeah, it takes me to the character. Okay. Take. 
All right, 288 coins. Looks like that's all that's there. Yeah, that's it. That's all that was there was coins. Okay. Let's see if I... Oh, I'm trying to get out. We're all beat up. I'm missing one of my fighter types. Combat. Oh crap, there's a whole boatload of them too. Move. Let's see. View items. It's unready the long sword. Ready the bow. Aim manual. Game manual. Oh, something went to automatic. I did. Sixteen uh, silver, and that's all that was there. Now we're going back out of there. And, uh, then we turn. Here we go. If I remember right, this is the end. Yeah. So it costs you one platinum piece to rest here. Do you want to stay? Yes. Who will pay? Shandar will. Okay. So. We come down here to... Bonnie. It's a magic. Memorize. Cure Light Wounds. She gets three first level spells.
Memorize oath, yes. Now we come down to banner. Memorize. Three first level spells. And then Marlin. Memorize. Sleep. And now we rest. There's the spells memorized. So now we come down here to Bonnie. And we say cast. Cure light wounds. On Gerald. And we'll have Banner cast Cure Light Wounds on Gerald. Now Gerald's healed. Now we'll come down to Gerald and say Memorize, Sleep, Exit, Exit, Yes, and Rest for another four hours. Come down to Bonnie, say cast, cure light wounds on banner. Exit. Say banner, cast, cure light wounds on banner. So now there he heals. Now we go to back to memorize. Cure light wounds twice. Exit. Yes. Then we come to Bonnie, say memorize. Cure light wounds twice. Exit. Yes. Exit. Yes. Rest for another four hours. Man, everybody's healed. Yay. <laughs> Survived the screw up by not having my spells ready. That was really not a good thing. Now let's see where we're at here. Let's take... There we go. Let's exit that. Here we are. View. XP 72. You saw how easily first levels can die. Okay. Now, when we come down here to Gerald, who's a fighter, magic user, thief, XP 0. Why? Because he got knocked unconscious. And was not a part of the fights at the end of the fights. So he didn't get any XP. Marlin, who's a fighter magic user, has 33 XP, not 72. Because his get cut in half. So now they're rested. Then we go back into Flan. And this is called farming. <laughs> you are surprised by goblins. Mace. Straight ahead and then up and diagonal, and that'll cause him to attack there, or her. Dagger, move straight ahead. Move straight ahead. Cast is one sleep spell. Manual targeting. Target. Let's see. 
aim manually. Yes, he puts the dagger away and gets his bow out. Hence, oh, he's got the shield out. Here we are. Now he can use his bow. Aim manually. Oh, that one guy's on automatic. I gotta figure out how to get him off of automatic. Okay, now we have items and money. So we'll take the coins. And I'll take a look at the items. There we go. Uh, we're going to... Throw it up there on armor. Okay, now he's loaded up. So we're going to go to Rick. Take. Pick up a bunch of arrows. Short swords and shields, if I remember right, they're only worth one gold piece each, but for since we don't know that for a fact, I'm going to go ahead and take them. Here we are. Now we're loaded up to the gills. We're going to go back to the store. Sell stuff. Uh, Shots, Mrs. R. And Armor, can I show you my wares? Yes. Shandar. You. Items. Sell. Two gold pieces. This isn't worth much, was it? Scale mail. Seven gold pieces. Rick, view items. Longbows. Twenty five gold pieces. Those were definitely worth picking up. Shield. Nothing. Gerald, few items. One gold piece for short swords. That's what I thought. Shields are none. Short swords are one. And 
And I think Bonnie picked up a couple too. Yeah. Who will exit? And there's the end where we could sleep. We did use one of our sleep spells. We still have one. Let's see where Gerald is on his experience points. He had 12 because he had, he had divided by three different classes. Comparison, Bonnie is at 113. Oh, there we go. More goblins. Combat! Damn, I got oh, Screwed around, I got him on the automatic, and that's not good. Move. Team manual. Team manual. Few items. Items. Tax of opportunity there. Okay, there's a cleric. Move. Now you have to expend all your movement points once you start moving. Cast. Cure light wounds. Manually target right there. Uh oh, he didn't get up. Done. Quit. Done. Quit. Unconscious, it says. Daniel. 
Okay, he's unconscious, not dead, so we're okay. Character gets 52 XPs. Money. 312 silvers. We now know that studded leather is only worth two. Let me get to anything else until I take them. Okay, he's loaded to the gills. Take. Arrow of longbow scale mail. Arrow of longbow scale mail. Arrow of longbow is loaded. Gerald, take. Scale mail, scale mail. Longbow arrows. Longbow. Fine, I'll take short swords to the extent that I can here. Got them off. Okay. So now we're going to go back to town and sell this stuff. And that's what this game is initially, is repetition. And it's really a clunky interface, which we were thrilled with in 1988. <laughs> View items. Sell, yes, sell, yes. Escape. Rick, you, items. Join the arrows. Few items. Well, he's wearing that one. He can sell that one. Join the arrows. Few items. Sell. Here we go. Let's get a room. Yes. All right, you're all magic. Okay, he's he didn't cast his sleep spell. Body magic. Banner. Yes, and Marlin. Sleep. Exit. Yes. Exit. Yes. And rest. Actually, wait a minute. Let's come back up here to Bonnie. Cast. Cure light. 
on Rick. Heal him. Banner will cast Cure Light. On Marlin. Heal him. Okay, now Banner. I've already committed. Okay. So rest. A banner memorize. And Bonnie memorize. And we rest again. Best. Here we go. All healed up. Spills are all restored. Exit, exit. And I'm going to call this a wrap for this one. We did the character generation. Uh, showed you how the merchants work. Showed you how to, to um, manipulate the uh, gold at start. Showed you where the stores are and how combat works. When we come back, we'll continue with this. We're probably going to do, I don't know if I'm going to do all the pool of radiance or not. Probably will. Uh, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next after that. Comment down below. Share your thoughts with me. Hit like. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video with some of your friends. Maybe, uh, maybe some of those folks will get into some of this nostalgia of these old games. Again, this is the very first computer role-playing game I ever played. Uh, Pool of Radiance. I think I played it in 1989 on an old IBM XT computer, 8088 CPU. Uh, on turbo, it ran at like 4.3, 4.2 megahertz was its processing cycle. Uh, I want to say four megs of RAM. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, it was uh, the step after my Commodore 64 that had 64K of RAM. I remember that. Take care of yourselves, my friends. Stay safe, have fun. And as always, until we see each other again, stay the hell off my lawn. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.